When it comes to PvP bases, it can be confusing on what to build for survival, so we proudly present Top 3 6-Man Full Base Designs on the Island. Coming at number 3, this location can be found at 41.4 latitude and 68.2 longitude, and then here it is on the map. Now these locations can be built anywhere, meaning that you don't have to build them on these exact spots that we are giving you, however, you can because they are mainly kind of built for these spots, but just know they do fit about anywhere on the map and they can be used on any map. At least right now we only have the island, but pretty soon we will have a lot more maps so you can use these and build these on any map that you like. Anyways, so starting with this first location. It's a nice little plateau a lot of you guys do know what this location is if you don't it's one of the better spots on this map right now nice flat area super high up meaning that a lot of uh, dinos can't even get up here so the only way really up is if they have to throw a cryo out on that base so that's really the only way to get these spots rated they make for a pretty good location so let's move on to that full base design so here is the full base design so as you can see it is a pretty tall base i decided to kind of get three different styles so like one tall one bigger one and then one that's more kind of wide. So anyways, this one is eight walls high. It consists of tech turrets and heavy turrets. Along with that, they are also built on double door frames. They are super strong. Highly recommend building on those. Coming into our first layer, we have a nice little crafting station over here on the left with some fabricators, chem benches, three smithies, a nice little daddy wall right there. It's not too big just for some main loot. And then we have a replicator, two vaults, and then a feeding trough down there. So coming upstairs to our second layer, this second layer consists, it is a little bit tight up here, so you're gonna have to keep that gate shut, but it consists of a nice little egg incubator, some cryo fridges, a nice little vault wall, and just your main area for just making some food. You have your replicator kind of poking through, so it does kind of take up a lot of room, which does suck. Anyways, coming up here to our third layer, third layer, just got your indie forges, nice little tech force field, some grinders, and some more vaults, of course. Which So there's not too, too much up here, however, it does make a nice little area for Nice little crafting room if you can use that or just to store some uh, of your main like metal, charcoal, all that. And, and then coming up to this layer, this is our main vault layer. It's a little bit tight up here, but it does work out pretty well. You're able to fit a lot of vaults in here, so you have a, quite a bit of vault storage. And then our final layer, yes, there are many, many layers in this base. Can be found up here. It, this is more of like your personal room with some vaults and just a nice little log out area. It does work for a pretty nice location. Pretty uh, Overall, a pretty good layout as well. Coming at number 2, this can be found at 33.7 latitude and 79.4 longitude. Again, these spots are optional. Highly recommend that you build these locations on here because they are built for these spots and they, these spots are actually pretty good ones to uh, work with. So this is the, um, the the North Mountain, I believe, over near Carno Island. It is a pretty good location. It's super high up, meaning the only way to truly get up here is with some cryos, which if you're watching this as of now, the cryos are out. So a lot of these locations are a little bit nerfed i'll just say that because of those uh just like alone because that means that people don't have to walk dinos up this giant cliff however it still does make for a really good location considering that there's no 6x damage or anything it is all just a standard set amount of damage it is a good amount of room up here just a little bit awkward to work with so we're gonna have to definitely use some pillars and kind of hang some ceilings over as the foundations aren't gonna work that well so that part does suck but let's get on to that full base design but before a word from our sponsor this video is sponsored by Mitra 9. Mitra 9 is a kava and kratom seltzer company that quite literally makes you feel good. My favorite flavor is tropical. Now, kava and kratom give you a similar effect to alcohol, just without the impairment. It's more similar to a high. Mitra 9 has really helped me get through long, stressful days. Use my code OUTCAST for 20% off at mitra9.com. Must be 18 or 21 in some states. Now here is the full base design. As you can see, we have a similar layout to the last one, just a little bit wider and a little bit taller. So in a way, it technically is about the same size, just slightly wider. So you have a lot more room on this location. And honestly, it does look like a lot more turrets. It is actually the same amount of turrets. They're just kind of more open out, if that makes a little bit more sense. Now you can add turrets based off of your turret like range and how many turrets that you are able to uh, place down. But anyways, we, we did a little bit of a different style and I went ahead and put the Indie Forges on top of the base. That way we're able to actually have a little bit more room to work within the base. As you can see, it's only six walls high instead of eight walls high. So the Indie Forges can get destroyed. However, it just makes a lot more sense having them on a roof. Coming inside, this is our first layer. We have a replicator and a double-sided crafting station. So if you, have a, if you have a lot of players, 
like for a six man it's gonna work out super super well you have an indie grad over here some vaults and then that is it for our first layer it's not a bad first layer at all i'm coming upstairs to your second layer this is your main hatchery and your main storage area so as you can see over here you have a cooker and a grill and then a lot of refrigerators and some cryo fridges over there as well you have some egg incubators over here in the corner along with that you have a nice little exit area so if you want to walk the the, um, the babies outside you can do that right there which actually does work out pretty well i have tested it most of them will fit through that gate now coming up here to our third and final layer this is our main just vault storage room tons of vaults you have a you have a um a tech jenny right there in the middle as well and you have easy access to your indie forges on your roof with those hatch frames that you can see up on the ceiling you also have a nice little log out area along with some personal cryos you have about six of them so again it does work out for a six man pretty well but yeah pretty good uh, location pretty good base it honestly makes for a nice compact style but still a little bit more open so you're not as tight just like with uh, number three and finally coming at number one this can be found in 9.9 .9 latitude and 8.0 longitude and then here it is on the map now this location is the iceberg back on arc survival evolved this location actually kind of sucked i'll just say that now before cryos it was the same as this location it was an awesome spot to live in However, this one has been buffed up a little bit. This one is actually slightly taller. They got rid of that nice little arch down there. And overall, it's actually a really, really good location to live at now. So as you can see, you have a lot more room up top. It is a little bit more awkward though to work with, I will say that. But you also have that same kind of layout um, on like uh, ASE with like down at the bottom. As you can see, it's kind of the same little style just without the arch. So it honestly isn't a horrible spot now at all. But yeah, so let's see what we can do for the full base design. Now here is the full base design. So this one, I went a little bit all out on it. We have a main giant base up top over here, which is actually pretty difficult to raid. The only way to raid it is honestly either Quetzal bombing or with Cryos now being out. I mean, there's a lot of many ways to also now raid this base. However, up top we have this that same style with the four indie forges this just this one is a little bit smaller we even have our own little turret towers over here so we have two two by twos with a four by four uh foundation base on them they each consist of about 40 to 45 turrets on them they are half tech half heavy very very powerful turret towers would not overlook them definitely put some down on your base i'm telling you they make a massive difference and it's going to piss a lot of people off <laughs> anyways Coming inside, our layout is a little bit different in here. We have the replicator in the middle. Along with that, it is surrounded by Deddy storages. Now over here, you have your simple, nice little crafting station with your fabricators, chem benches, and smithies. Then your replicator right in the middle. Down here, you also have a tech jenny, which we'll, we will look at here in a second. We have an indie grinder over here, a nice little vault wall along with that indie grinder. And then here's your tech jenny. Now I recommend placing this on the actual floor, not on a foundation. Anyways, over here, you have some cryos, nice little cooking area. It is a little bit tight, but you have a little storage area for your refrigerators and you can fit through there. Now coming up to our second layer, as you can see, this is a nice little hatching area along with some feeding troughs and some more uh, refrigerators over there. So yeah, actually does work out pretty well. You have a ton of room in there. Now on to our third layer. This is our main vault storage area. And then we have easy access up there to those indie forges as well. But yeah, it does make for a pretty good location. But yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.